Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Halo Anniversary Edition running on the i5 1135G7. Now this is running at 1080p with the lowest possible settings and this is exactly how I would play the game. It looks good, it performs really well. Yeah, we're not getting a consistent 60, but for the most part it's very playable. If I didn't have that frame counter up, I would be having a good time. I mean, I originally played this game on an Xbox. It was running like garbage, you know? And I mean, that that's like an iconic moment in your childhood. So just being able to play a remastered version of it at this frame rate is actually kind of crazy. One thing to note, though, is that you cannot switch to the classic graphic. Not that I personally would want to, but if you try to do it, the frame rate will pretty much just cease to exist. It'll just go down to one and be kind of just a slideshow. So that's kind of unfortunate if you care about the switching graphics i personally just don't care about that i like the improved graphics i actually think it looks really good especially because this is like on the performance setting and I, I still really like how it looked but i'm very satisfied with the performance on here i didn't even try 720p because i didn't feel like it was necessary this is exactly how i'd play the game you know so i didn't really feel the need to mess around with it you could always try that of course you probably won't get worse fps than this so you can always just do that but i was so happy with the performance on here that i'm pretty much just going to be playing the entire franchise on this laptop so just stay tuned to see how that goes be sure to subscribe i really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving like uh, the past few days have just been insane but i really appreciate that guys and uh we'll see when i try out halo 2 because i gotta finish the campaign on this